Okay, we will be continuing our the review of the first wave of X-Men 97. Today we're looking at Storm. Storm comes with a pair of fisted hands, and that's it. And she has these two open hands for when she's trying to summon the lightning or whatever. But now this is my only Storm figure. Um, so let's get into this. Just a quick little rundown, but... So, the paint job on mine came out pretty good. Nothing bad about it, except there is this little sculpting issue, I, I would say. Like, right here. It looks a little weird. And it's just, it's not really so much on that side. It is on this side, however. It looks odd. But, my one complaint with this is the, the little cape. I don't like the way that Hasbro did this. It's... You see that all this stuff right here in the front uh, looks kind of meh. And then when you try to take off the hands, which I'm not going to do because they're just fisted hands, nothing special. But trying to take this off is quite irritating because this will pop off with the hand. Um, the head sculpt on mine looks fine. It looks perfect. This is how she's going to look in the show. It's Mohawk Storm. I do like Mohawk Storm, although I do prefer with longer hair, but Mohawk Storm is fine too. Uh, her costume is basically the same. Um, the sculpting, it goes all the way right here. You can see it goes all the way to the top. This is what it looks like on the back. You see, I kind of, this is all it is. It's connected to the shoulder pads. I mean, I, I don't mind it. It's like this, I don't know type material to describe that as, but <clears throat> it's, it's a good storm. It's not a bad storm. It's, it is a good storm. Um, her fisted hands are nothing special. General, generic female body. It's tiny hands, small hands. Let's just set those off to the side. You see the white in her mohawk is, looks good. No, like paint smeared into it or anything like that um so let's uh, bring in some comparisons if she can stand she does have a standing issue sometimes but that's that's generally gonna happen um first let's start off with her x-men counterpart let's look at wolverine and there she goes falling wolverine made her fall wolverine just knocked her over said oh my bad stand well, you can see Wolverine is kind of just shorter than her by very little, but even then, that's fine. Uh, let's bring in Magneto. And Magneto is... Is Magneto taller than her? Um, um, barely. The Mohawk's taller than her. Taller than him, so I guess you can kind of say she's taller than him, but I still wish this. he should have been bigger. He should have been taller. It's a really small body. I'm not happy with it. It is decent but just yeah and for giggles for fun mr sinister who is just towering over all of the x-men i mean literally this has a great mr sinister figure but if they release one for this wave i will be picking it up and if they release a wave three i will be picking up that mr sinister too but you know <clears throat> all right Sorry if this is going by pretty fast, but everybody kind of knows these reviews. Some people, these have been out for a while, so. But let's get into the articulation. Um, the shoulder pads move, I mean, technically I guess that counts, but head moves left and right. It can kind of go up and down a little bit. I, of course, it can't go forward back that much because the hair, it can go down about that much. Uh, shoulder, arms can go all the way around but i'd be careful because the roll twist up her cape single jointed pinless knee elbows jump double jointed would have been nice but they can't always do that wrist rotation same thing as usual by uh, ab, ab swivel there is no bicep rotation the wrist the elbow can move elbow rotation Thigh rotation, no calf rotation, double jointed, pinless knees. Well, the knees are mine a little stiff, but legs can go back that much, go forward that much, and full on just kick. Oh yeah, just kick, kick the camera like this. 
and then if we can go back that much then go forward that much wrist i mean ankle swivel ankle pivot but yeah and then she can go forward back that much you can kind of see the peg back there and go forward that much that yeah <clears throat> but yeah real base generic storm I guess she's having the mohawk look. I wonder if they'll explain if she just cuts all her hair off or what. But I don't mind Mohawk Storm. I think it is nice. But I do prefer her with the long hair. Mohawk Storm, I believe, has been during... When she was in part of Apocalypse. When well, she was a... What are they called? She was one of the four horsemen of Apocalypse, so it took me a minute. And then, of course, she did have the Mohawk look in X-Men Age of Apocalypse, and we don't speak about that movie, really. Uh, um, but, yeah, I, I do like the sculpting. The suit's nice. I just, these, this, I've, this is not, eh. And it's just attached by a rope. I feel like they could have done a better job with that. But it's not bad. It is nice. It is a storm. I do like the storm. I will one time. I will one day eventually be picking up a regular Jim Lee version of storm. Just with her long hair from the original X-Men show. But for now. This one does do the trick. But yeah. Wait, she, can, she can get to some cool poses. She can be like I, I summon um, the... Whatever she says, I summon the thunder to or lightning to come strike down the stuff that she says in there. You know, it would be cool though. What's a sh sh shadow king? Or that, if you know what I'm talking about, the character that can sh sh travels in shadows from Storm's home, uh, home in Africa. That character would be cool as a Marvel Legends. That would be nice. I've seen people make customs with the Kingman, Kingpin body, with the little extra Kingpin body, with the Shadow King head that came with uh, Professor Xavier. I would just prefer the figure, because with a Storm, that would be perfect. Perfect figure. But, um, yeah, so... That, that pretty much it for this figure. Nothing, nothing special about it. Just a regular storm, mohawk storm with a little little ponytail. Mohawk, mohawk storm with a little ponytail. I think it looks fine. But yeah, and yeah, um, she can't stand very good sometimes. So yeah, I'll I'll be back to fix that. No, today we had a look at X Men ninety seven wave one storm. As of recording this, the day before, actually the day before recording this, I did pick up Cyclops from X Men ninety seven Wave two. I'll be progressing getting those, getting the rest of those figures. But before I do reveals for those, I'm going to finish the reviews on these first. I have Magneto, Wolverine, and Storm Down. Next, we'll be looking at Rogue, Gambit, and Bishop. In no particular order, it's just whichever one I feel like doing. It might be Gambit next, but. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember, my cash app is down below if you want to help out and support the channel. But until next time, I wish you all the best. And remember, you're never too old to be a kid. And Crimson out.